Hundreds of reenactors, thousands of spectators, and more than a dozen boats are all headed over to Fort Morgan. It's a big day, 150 years uh, commemoration of the Battle of Mobile Bay. Many histori historians say the battle signaled the beginning of the end for America's bloody civil war. And that is where we find Local 15 today's Darwin Singleton giving us a little history lesson this morning. Happy Friday. Oh, we got a history just all over the place down here, Kelly. In fact, uh, history just walked up to me literally a few minutes ago. Uh, we know the reenactors are all, well, they're not all asleep because Scott Myers of Jasper, Alabama. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good How to are see you. you. Good to I see am you all. fine. I, I was hoping I could get somebody stirring in there and you came out. Do you usually get up earlier than the rest of the I'm, crew? I'm, I see daylight every day. <laughs> It's wasting time if you're not to see the sun come up. All right, there you go. We believe in that on the local uh, TV shows uh, in the morning because we have to get up so early to do these things. But I want to talk to you about what you're wearing this morning because we were, we were chatting a few minutes ago. We think blue and gray. What color are you wearing? This is called butternut. And why are you wearing butternut, and, and who would you have been with at the time? Primarily the Army of Tennessee wore butternut. Army of Northern Virginia would be in the gray. Uh, due to the, where they were located, the cadet uniforms from the VMI and, and the military and such. And it pretty much boiled down toward, in 1864, whatever you could get. Uh, yeah, that's really true because it was things were getting scarce there. Very, 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 very scarce. Horse. As you can see, most of the people today won't even have shoes. They'll be barefoot. Really? I'm talking about the civilians that show up. We joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> Flip-flops, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's, let's talk about uh, the fact that you love to do this. You've got your son in there who does this. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me that uh, sometimes... It depends on what's needed. You'll play different roles in different sides. Oh, I pull what I call a war wagon. It's a trailer, and I have Confederate uniforms, Union uniforms, civilian clothing, just whatever we need to do at that time wow. to show people the history, what they need to see. Okay, because because it is every time you do a reenactment is a cast of characters, mm -hmm. and it is action, and they need to fill all those slots. And sometimes you may be in the north, you may be with the south, it doesn't matter. But, but you got a uniform for everything. Yes, I, I try to. I mean, I'm into this hobby. What can you say? Why do you do it? Uh, I love history. I love to be a 10-year-old boy playing the ultimate army again. <laughs> I mean, it don't get no better than this. No. And it won't this weekend here at Fort Morgan because this is 150-year celebration or commemoration, I should say, of the Battle of Mobile Bay. We have so much more to show you, and we will as daylight approaches. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you, sir. Say hey to Jasper for us when I you will. go home. Yeah. All right. Kelly? We're getting off to a great start this morning with some living history here. I love his early morning show mantra. We need that around here. We get up at zero dark 30. Thank you, Darwin. See you next time.